Some Africans believe that childless couples are nobody's ancestor. This is a shameful status to bear. That is why most African men and in-laws get impatient at prolonged childless marriage, channeling the blame to the women. I got in marriage in 1982. When I got married, I'm so young. Before, in my husband's house, I said my period. He said my will that time, that period, that I want to marry. My mother told me that I should marry. Nasana <laughs> kuma mutane da dama da shi suke zagi na da shi ne mutane suna zagi na yau a sofa for my marriage i get i uh, do 5 years my husband they abuse me his sister they abuse me say me i no dey born any time na abuse tell me say me i carry my property living house a living house nothing i get i no get mother i no get father Nothing I get. When my baby have get dead, I went to the hospital to meet the doctor. They check me. They say I have a fl uh, fibro. So I have fibro till they do me operation. He didn't do operate me, I'll be okay. Because I have no money to do that operation. I don't it up to now. Yes, <laughs> kana nan ba aikin yi ba kuma baka da yaro abun ba dadin ji i cry i say oh my god what that done to you god what i done to you i said at not my mother that i cannot marry my mother forced to marry and now see now i'm suffering in this world oh god i have nothing to say about god that only you can save my problem for this life where well, this see my condition now see my condition now and follow people for farming. I will never forget in my life where, where I suffer. Me, I don't get mother, I don't get father. All they die, they leave me. Since I did for from one, nobody could pay me school fees. Nobody could pay me. That's what they suffer. And they go to do uh, no man now. What I get? My illness, they abuse me. Say, hey, me, I'm not born for them. So, me what I go do? Not be God they give born. Now people, now man go give person. No. That we are much more from God. Don't be bad. Muda iti. Come on, Nima. Say na share the one to one. Come in as I'm a wimbi on bukat. Come on, she ne Allah. In zone in Duba. In Chenipa. Allah bane. I'm a puti na zaki. I can't afford. Farming, farming, farming from nowhere. From morning to evening, if I see for the job. What that do to you, God? Please, clear my eyes, my tears with you. Help me, Father. <laughs> only my problem for this life. If I die, they go say, hey, I get children, or I get one child. It is true that when you empower a woman, you empower the whole community. Mark More Than a Mother helped Grace's Abu and her group to establish their own business. They are now the main source for good palm and groundnut oil in their community. Thanks to Merck Foundation, they became admired and respected by other women and members in their community. My name is Grace Abu. I'm the head of the palm oil business. I have three sisters now, but now we are four in group selling palm oil. We are very, happy, very glad. Before I, I don't have anybody, but now I get many friends. 
I gave many workers that they helped me selling the palm oil. We sell to hotels and restaurants, any big restaurants, we sell it. A one that we knew that we can, we can get the money. No credit. I will not sell it by credit. Like business it. is business. Oil business is fine. I'm very happy. We go grow this business up. If the oil finish, I will go and buy another one. Start another one again. Look at me. This business is fine for me. I'm looking so quick, so good, so glad. That's why I'm happy. I thank God now because of this business. I defeat myself inside. People are respecting me now. And I get many friends now because I'm doing something. And I pray, may that thing not stop for our, for our head only. May them try to do with another woman like us, we will not have a kid.